feedback network and mixer network. Let me explain. The three in a nutshell, sampling network is used to sample the output voltage or output current. Means it takes the output voltage and output current and it connects that output voltage or output current to the feedback network. Now this feedback network, based on the feedback factor beta, it connects either feedback voltage or feedback current to this mixer network and then this mixer network mix this feedback signal with the source signal and it will generate a signal called input voltage or input current that gets amplified by the amplifier. Okay, so this is completely the block diagram of your feedback network. Okay, I told you already you have to see three networks in detail because we already know the amplifier concept. Okay, the three networks are sampling network, feedback network and mixer network. Okay, so the first one is Sampling network and the second one is mixer network and the third one is feedback network. Okay. So first I'll start sampler network. Sampler network is used to connect the output voltage or output current to the feedback network. And based on the feedback factor, the proportion of output voltage or output current is connected to the mixer. Okay, fine. Sampling can be done in two ways. Voltage sampling. Okay, and then current sampling. Voltage sampling and current sampling. This voltage sampling is also called node sampling. This current sampling is also called loop sampling. Okay. Now coming to the voltage sampling circuit. Voltage sampling circuit. See the circuit. This is your basic amplifier. A. This is the feedback network beta. Okay. And here is your output voltage. RL. And across RL you have V0. Now in the case of voltage sampling or node sampling. The output is connected. The output voltage is connected in shunt to the feedback. In shunt to the feedback network. Okay. So this is called voltage sampling. Okay. Yes, next. Coming to the current sampling. Yes. Same. Your basic amplifier A. Okay, and the feedback network beta. Now, this is RL and the current flowing through RL is I0. Now, see here, this is the connection. Here are the input terminals for beta and A networks. So, this, in this, the current is connected to the feedback network in series. Okay. And here the voltage is connected to the feedback network in shunt. Okay. So this is called node sampling because here we, we got uh, uh, two nodes. This is called loop sampling. Here the current is connected in the form of loop. When the loop only the current is constant. Okay. So this is called voltage sampling or node sampling. And this is called current sampling or loop sampling. Okay. So, now we will see the second network. The second network is mixer network. So, the second network is mixer network. Oh. And the mixer network, there exists mixing of the source signal and the feedback signal. 
Here mixing is of two types. The first one is series mixing and the second one is shunt mixing. Okay. It's coming to the series mixing circuit. And remember one point, sampling is at the output side and mixing is at the input side. Yes, this is your A and this is your feedback network. And now you have to leave these connections because this is output side. Now in the series mixing, see here, this is your VS. Yes, in series mixing, this is mixing. Your feedback voltage is mixed in series with your input voltage. Okay. See here, this is your feedback. This is your feedback signal. Then, coming to the shunt mixing. Yes, this is your amplifier network. And this is the beta network. Yes, shunt. To mix and shunt, you must take the current source. Yes. Okay, here is your RS. So here the feedback signal is mixed in shunt with your input current source. So here as you are mixing with the voltage, it should be a feedback voltage. As you are mixing with the current, the feedback must be IF, the current. Okay, yes. So this is your series mixing. And this is your shunt mixing. Okay. Like sampling network. Here also two mixing circuits are there. Series mixing and shunt mixing. In series mixing, the feedback voltage is mixed in series with the source voltage. And in shunt mixing, feedback current is mixed in shunt with the current source. Okay. So with this mix, with these two mixings, uh, you are going to get your VI. VI. With these two mixings, so you are going to get your II. VI is the input voltage and II is the input current. Okay. So this is about your mixing network. Now coming to the feedback network. The third network is feedback network. The feedback network. Yes, your feedback network generally consists of only linear elements RLC. But in our amplifier concept, your feedback network consists only the resistive uh, circuit. Yes, in tuned amplifiers and in your oscillator circuits, the feedback network consists of LNC elements, frequency selective or frequency sensitive elements. But in the case of amplifiers, the feedback network consists of only resistors. Okay, yes. Now, feedback is of two types. The first one is positive feedback and the second one is negative feedback. Positive feedback and negative feedback. What is positive feedback? We know the mixer is used to mix the signal coming from the signal source and also the feedback. Okay. Let me explain by taking the voltage. Okay. From the source you are going to get your VS and from the feedback network you are going to get your VF. Okay. If Vs and Vf are in phase, okay, yes, Vs and Vf are in phase, okay, then what will happen? Your Vi becomes Vs plus Vf because your mixer is used to mix your Vs and Vf, the mixer output is Vi, so Vi is equal to Vs plus Vf. So what is happening here? The input voltage is increasing. Okay, so that type of feedback is called positive feedback. What happens if the input voltage increases, output voltage increases? 
if the output voltage increases gain increases okay so when the positive feedback gain increases okay yes with this the gain increases yes what are the applications of the positive feedback a uh, positive feedback is used in oscillators it is used in oscillators okay so that is about positive feedback coming to the negative feedback yes in the negative feedback vs and vf are in opposite phase are in opposite phase means these two are at an angle of 180 180 so what will happen as the two are in opposite phase your vi is vs minus vf opposite phase here means this is having positive sign and this is having negative sign Suppose if we see the two are in phase, the two are having positive signs. Okay, so as the two are having opposite signs, this is called negative feedback. So what will happen? Yes, actually, what is the signal that you're giving up from outside your VS? When this negative feedback, if if you observe, the VS is decreased by VF. Okay, means the input signal is decreasing. What will happen if the input signal is decreasing continuously, loop by loop? The output voltage decreases. If the output voltage decreases, gain decreases. Okay. So what will happen here? Here the gain decreases. Gain decreases. Okay. But surprise is this negative feedback is used in amplifiers. This is the main thing. This is used in amplifiers. Yes. But what you are saying with the negative feedback, gain decreases. But what you are doing, we are using it in amplifier circuit. Yes, what is this? Amplifier is used to amplify the signal, means the gain must increase. But instead of using the positive feedback here in the amplifiers, we are using negative feedback. Then, what is our intention of using negative feedback in amplifier? Yes, though the gain decreases, why are you going for negative feedback? Because it has many advantages. Negative feedback has many. Uh, good effects on the amplifier. It increases the performance of the amplifier. What are those things? I think you heard somewhere the stability of the amplifier means if output is stable at all frequencies without variations. Okay, without flip flopping. Okay, if that is happening, that is because of the negative feedback. Okay, then with the negative feedback, the noise decreases. Okay, with the negative feedback, the distortion decreases. If your amplifier is free of noise and distortion, and if it has stability, then the output seems to be very good and very stable without having distortion. Yes, no noise. So, so exactly, you're going to get your information. Okay, so that is the reason. Though the gain decreases, we're using negative feedback. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.